All right, so we have the nav bar good. Uh, next, obviously, would be the um, the carousel here, right, or slider. So um, I'm not going to go through and replace all the images. I'll show you how to do that real quick, just because that might be something you would want to be able to do. But obviously, um, so I'm going to take this header section and I'm just going to collapse that um, because then the next section is the main section. Um, so right here, obviously, we have the carousel. Um, we don't need to change most of these things, like all this stop top stuff. We can just leave the way that it is. But what you'll see is that there's carousel inner, and then each carousel um, is are, are one of these things. So see, it says carousel class, carousel item. So if I wanted to add more, you would just take this bit here, control C, enter, control V, and now you have another one, right? So now I have, um, and then I would just, just so it's more obvious, I'm just going to type in fourth slide, okay? Um, but that's how you would add them. So you would just make sure you grab one section here. Sometimes I'll even like just hit enter in between so I can see clearly what each one is. It makes it a little bit simpler, um, but that's not necessarily necessary. But now I can tell a little simpler where um, they are. Okay. And then you would just replace the images like we already did. And then you would just replace the content. That seems all pretty straightforward. Um, uh, the other thing that you might need to do as well is that if you look on the bottom of ours, uh, this one specifically, see it has these three um, buttons. Um, I now have four things, so you would also have to copy this button if you wanted to include. Uh, but you could also just remove this carousel indicators thing. And then obviously just change it to um, three and then uh, four. Okay. Um, the reason being, uh, th this part actually doesn't really matter as much. It's this part here because... This is what the JavaScript uses. It indexes at zero, so that's why it's zero, one, two, three, four, and doesn't start at one for frame for the first image. But that's the stuff that you would need to do. So in uh, along with this, you would also have to change this. So if you wanted to add more, that's how you would add more. Um, that's also how you'd remove them. So you would just take one out, and then also make sure you take out the button. Um, what I'm more interested in, just because I feel like it's a you know a little bit of a thing, is um, maybe changing. Uh, the uh, the current icons, right? So right now we have a carousel icon for previous and one for after. Now they're fine, uh, but maybe if you want to change them, because um, right now they're sort of what we call like a chevron. Um, so uh, if, you, if you're not super happy with what they look, you see these little lines, I think they look fine. But if I wanted to change them, what we could do is just use what we already have font awesome, or you could use an image or any number of things, make your own SVGs, yada, yada. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use font awesome just because it's already built in. And there's one right here for directional. And you can see there's a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, most of these, I think, don't look all that. I mean, these are kind of, these might be better, actually. Let's try, because um, these are a little bit thicker uh, than what's there. Um, let's not do that because I want to make it obvious that we did it. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab, let's use this one. So I'm going to go to Chevron left. I'm just going to click on try it. I'm going to middle button click so it pops open a new window. And I'm just going to grab this middle one the because that's this size here. I'm going to grab that. <clears throat> then we'll uh, go back here. And where, what, what direction was that? That was left. Okay. So I'm going to go to right here where it says carousel control. Um, where is it? Span carousel control previous icon. So this one right here, I'm going to take that. Um, and I'm going to control V over it. So it replaces it now with that. One, two, there we go. And then uh, I also need to do the next icon. So I'm going to grab this one and paste it there. Um, but this one is obviously got to be right. I can just imagine it's this. I could figure that out on my own. Um, that looks good. Uh, and now when we go up to... Um, our thing there, we can uh, make some adjustments. I do want to, just for the sake of formatting, to make things a little bit cleaner, I would like to um, maybe take our um, things here, and instead of having it directly in it, see how it's got this style, so if I save it, it's also pixels. Um, I'll just uh, show you now if we do Control R. Right, so now it's got these icons, which are a little bit easier to read, I think, than the other ones. Um, but they're being determined by inline CSS, which is, you know, not as good. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take the style out and I'm going to take this one's out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this bit of code right here, the uh, Chevron, control C. And we're going to go up to our style and I'm just going to go ahead and do dot control V. 
right? So that I have that style. I also need to do the other side. So I'm gonna do dot control V and turn this one into right like so, okay? And then here now we can change the, um, the size. So we'll do font size. And this time let's do, um, let's try five EMs, okay? So that way it's more responsive as opposed to being absolute pixels the way that it was before. And if I control R, you can see they're kind of too large, but we'll just go with it for now. Um, okay, good. So that is uh, the carousel uh, in a rough about. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. And like I said, you can replace the images or add or remove. And you can see we have our extra things here. I'm gonna call that good. And the next section, we will format this.